Hello to everybody. Welcome. So happy to have you here. I want to say thank you to everyone who showed up for yesterday's huge game, and I want to say a huge thank you once more to Solitaire Grand Harvest for putting up all of that prize money. I saw a bunch of you, I think, were, were checking out Solitaire Grand Harvest. I play it. I think it's an awesome game. If you haven't checked it out, you can do it after this. You can go look it up on Swagbucks after the game. Highly recommend that you do. It's a nice way to say I thank you to them. And to, to get more SB for yourself, let's be honest. It is autumn. It is fall. Here where I live, uh, the, the city is turning into the surface of the sun for whatever reason. So we don't have that good fall weather. But those of you who do, you're probably digging into some of these foods I'm going to talk about. Because we asked what flavor means fall to you for our fall flavors game. Here are just a few of the answers. Vintage Gams said pumpkin, sage stuffing, and corn chowder. Uh, those sound great. I would eat pretty much everything that gets said here, by the way. I'm just going to put that out there. L.M. Ray, cinnamon, day's delight, adding apple to the cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon and apple people in the comments love to see that. Fiction writer said pecan pie. Nana said banana cream pie. We had apple pie in there, pumpkin pie. Hannah Martin said cranberries. Jersey John, apple cider vinegar. Very healthy. Doing a cleanse? Good for you. Maxi Multi Gamer said hot mold cider. Make it work said sweet potato. PCH said sweet potato pie. And bubbling brown sugar with maybe the most fall food of all fall foods. Roasted tomato soup with grilled cheese. This is like when it gets cold. Sweater weather. You put on your sweater and you enjoy some sweater weather food. I'm hoping to get to put on a sweater soon. We just, we sure hope. But uh, in the meantime, I want you to imagine the crispness of the air. The rustling of the leaves. That can only mean it's time for the Flavors of Fall edition of Daily Trivia Live. The mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Relax with some hot cider as you play for today's grand prize. That is $1,000, and when you correctly answer 10 multiple-choice Flavors of Fall trivia questions, you'll win your share of it. You may ask yourself, what does that mean? You'll figure it out pretty fast. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Here is how it works as a reminder. If you win the game today, you'll get your piece of that grand prize. Also, all the bonus SB you accumulate throughout the game will be added on top automatically. If you don't win the grand prize, you can still accumulate bonus SB, but you don't get them automatically. You have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. Simple as clicking a button. What I'm saying to you all is please don't leave early. You're only hurting yourself. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right. Oh, I already told you this part, but also the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Yeah, you can do that one of two ways. You can use SB or you can use a free rejoin. If you don't have free rejoins, if you're here and you're new, you can click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Finally, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from Monday. Congratulations to you. You have already been credited. Enjoy your SB. And to the rest of you, you know what I'm going to say. Keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. You know, people are saying too much talking, too much talking. Guess what? I agree. And now that the pleasantries are out of the way, let's get into it with question number one. What is the chief ingredient in caramel? Is it sugar, wheat, or barley? It is the chief ingredient in caramel. Caramel is an essential fall ingredient, especially when it's wrapped around a crisp apple. You know what I'm talking about. And it's a very simple thing to make. All you're doing, essentially, is cooking some sugar. Sugar is the answer. And 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's right. You can caramelize a lot of things, but caramel itself, that is sugar, my friends. That's why it tastes so good. It's just sugar that you cooked. Just that easy. Let's move on to question number two. 
We got over 16,000 people in grand prize contention. Love to see that. And every question you get right from here on out is worth one bonus SB. So here we go with question number two. What autumn flavor is a seasonal favorite at Starbucks? Is it chestnut spice latte, gourd spice latte, or pumpkin spice latte? One of those is the one. I think you're all going to know it. It's an easy bonus SB. Starbucks makes headlines when this drink is rolled out. That's Companies would kill for that. This year it happened on August 21st, leading to the age-old debate of whether or not it was too early for the pumpkin spice latte to show its face. It's like Groundhog Day. It's a little too early. 99% of you getting that one right. Does it mean extra fall when it shows up that early? We don't know, but uh, I know some people on my team love the pumpkin spice latte. I think they'd be okay with it being around year round. I don't know. I'm not going to speak for them, but I am going to speak for myself when I say we're moving on to question number three. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Yams are very similar to what other starch? Is it pasta, sweet potato, or chickpeas? What is the yam very similar to? While there are certain certainly similarities between the yam and its more demure cousin, known as the sweet potato, their differences, like skin density and flavor profile, are what set them apart from one another. That's right, sweet potato is the answer. You heard me, 99% of you getting that one right. Crushing it with this food trivia. Love to see it. And I love to see people sticking around also who are not in grand prize contention because they want bonus SB like the one they can get for correctly answering question number four. Here it is. Raisins are the dried form of which food? Is it grapes, bananas, or pears? I will explain why this is a flavor of fall in case you're like, it's not a flavor of fall. No, contraire. Fall is a great time for hiking or long walks or even leaf peeping adventures. And having some trail mix gives you a healthy snack. And you can't have trail mix without those classic dried grapes in there. We call them raisins, but they're dried grapes. That's the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. And you are crushing this game so far. I love to see it. That means we can move right on to question number five worth one bonus SB. In Greek mythology, what autumn spice was believed to come from birds? Is it nutmeg, cinnamon, or ginger? This might be the Greek mythology you just didn't know about. Sometimes we know that we like something, but we don't know much about it or how things work in general, which is how we wound up with the ancient Greeks thinking that cinnamon came from birds. Yes, cinnamon is the answer. And, ooh, that was a spicy one. 22% of you getting it right, but that means that 78% of you just got eliminated from grand prize contention, but that is what rejoining is for. I bet most of you are going to come right back in, and oh, what do you know? I was right. Out of a little over 12,000 people who got eliminated we got over 11,500 of you right back in. Still over 14,800 people in grand prize contention. And we are on to the back half of our game, starting with question number six. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. When they're ripe, what can cranberries do? Is it bounce, sing, or your taxes? What do cranberries do when they're ripe? Fun fact. They're grown in watery bogs, and you can tell by the color and pits whether or not they're right. But if you want to get fancy or have some fun, you can just throw them at the floor to see if they bounce, because they will bounce when they're ripe. That is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right after a tough one. You bounce right back. They do not sing. Um, they don't have the lung capacity for it, unfortunately. And I wish they would do my taxes so I didn't have to do it every year, but that's just the way it goes. I guess if you run a cranberry. Never mind. We're going to move on to question number seven worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Where does pure maple syrup come from? Is it vines, tree trunks, or flowers? Where can you get pure maple syrup from? Vermont and Canada have cornered the maple syrup market. And if you visit there, you can bring your own spout Stick it into the trunk of a maple tree and get syrup straight from the source. That's right. Tree trunks is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. I do love pure maple syrup. We are. This is the time of year you get it. You put it on some waffles, pancakes. That could be fall food too. Let's move on to question number eight, though. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Johnny Cakes and Hush Puppies are different forms of what fall food staple? Is it cornbread, bourbon chicken, or broccoli au gratin? 
Johnny Cakes and Hush Puppies. What are they? One food trend we picked up from the indigenous people of America was their harvesting of and cooking with corn, which gave us these variations on cornbread. Yes, cornbread is the answer. Oh, who doesn't love cornbread? I think I've wanted to eat everything that we've talked about so far in this game. I wrote it, I did this to myself, and I recognize that. Let's move on to question number nine, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What is apple pie a la mode usually served with? Is it soup, towels, or ice cream? If you get it a la mode, what is it coming with? A la mode literally translates to in the fashion or in the style, and one thing that will never go out of fashion is a slice of warm apple pie with a cold scoop of ice cream. Ice cream is the answer. Ice cream. 13,915 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. Before we get to that final question, quick reminder, we talked about this briefly yesterday, that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is a quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both of those get you SB towards your daily goal, but of course... Clicking that more ways to earn gets you to the tap joy wall. Tap joy wall is something you should be doing in this app every single day. Quick, easy to complete offers that will get you SB and check daily discover off of your to-do list in minutes. It's fun. It's quick. The SB add up over time. It all works towards the daily goal. And this is building a winning habit, something you can do every day. Even if it's just for a few minutes, it's going to pay off in the long run. So make sure you are doing your daily tap, tap joy every single day. Build those winning habits that I keep talking about. You'll see a little box appear at the end of the game after you've claimed your SB or after you've seen how much you won from winning the grand prize. Click that. It'll take you out of the app. Ask if you want to come back in. You say yes. You'll come back in and go to the tap joy wall. We're all of your dreams will come true if your dreams are to visit the tap joy wall all right we have almost fourteen thousand people in grand prize contention thirteen thousand nine hundred thirty six to be precise almost seventeen thousand of you stuck around to the end and there is one more bonus sb up for grabs if you can correctly answer question number 10 here it is dinty moore is associated with what fall food staple is it beef stew caramel macchiato or scalloped potatoes Dinty Moore, it's like a phrase. You just say it together, don't you? Everything about Dinty Moore, from the logo to the packaging to the delicious serving of beef stew inside, just scream autumn comfort food. Beef stew is the answer. 12,433 of you knew that answer. You are splitting our grand prize today. The streak of crushing the game continues. Each of our grand prize winners is home taking home 9 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Malia Burgo, you are a winner. Carl Artisan, you are a winner. Bennett, 0676, congratulations. Swag Jive Man, he's a Jive Man. Savage Skaters, 175, and Elizabeth River, 10. Just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to every single one of you. Congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB and claimed them. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal Cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job today. We will see you tomorrow for another game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.